Welcome back. Last week and the previous week, we talked about determining your lie and then figuring out your lie discount. This week is going to be all about calculating your water. So there's a lot of information in this section and water can be a little tricky because there's different ways that you can determine or think about your water in a recipe. I am going to talk about water as a solution strength. I think this is the best way to look at water and once you understand it, it's the most easiest in my opinion to understand and actually work with. So what do I mean when I say water solution strength? What I am talking about is your lie and your water strength and how strong it is. So when you see water solution strength and a percentage in front of it, that's going to tell you how much lye to water you're going to have that ratio in your water. So what does a 25% solution strength mean? Well, if we look at this chart over here, these little test tubes, 25% represents the lye in your solution strength. The remainder is going to be water. So 25% solution strength, 25% of it is going to be lye, and the other 75% will be water. Now if we had a 50% solution strength, then 50% 50 50 would be lye and 50% would be water. When you are working with solution strengths, remember, you cannot go any higher than 50 lye dissolves can dissolve in equal amounts of water but it cannot dissolve if you have less water than lye so the highest you can go is a one-to-one -one ratio basically generally you're not going to go any lower than 25 percent that's a three to one ratio and that's a lot of water most lye calculators if they don't give you the option to control your water are calculating water around a 28 to 29% solution strength, which is that two and a half to one ratio. I generally like to work around 33, um, a 33% water solution strength. That's getting you closer to that two to one ratio, which is just my preferred. So I know this takes a little bit to kind of wrap your head around and understand but it's definitely worth uh, learning and understanding this process. So a few things I want to keep you to keep in mind when we are talking about water solution strength. The solution strength, as I mentioned, can be between 25 and 50 percent. Cannot, absolutely cannot be higher than 50, and I really, really don't recommend going lower than 25. There's no right or wrong water amount, again, unless you go below a 50-50 solution strength. Sodium hydroxide needs at least equal amounts of water to dissolve. Remember that. Higher water discounts or a stronger solution strength will trace quicker. The less water you have, the quicker to trace. Higher water discounts or a stronger solution strength, as I like to think of it, I want you to kind of change your way of thought, will cure quicker too because there's less water, right? So it's going to be ready faster. The lower the water discount or the weaker your solution strength, the more fluid your batter will remain. So when we want to do really complicated designs that we need a whole lot of time, sometimes having more water will help you because your batter will not get thick as quick and it will allow you to do those really complicated designs. Both of these, you know, whether you have more or less water, have their pros and cons. And you kind of just need to look at what is going to work for you. And it might be different in different situations. So there are two ways that you can calculate your water solution strength. This first option, option one, is one, there's just one formula. You input everything and you get your answer. The second option, there are two steps to it. I like the second option better. My brain just remembers it easier, um, but it doesn't matter which you use. Just as long as you, you use the correct formula, um, use the one that makes the most sense to you and you will be good. So 
to calculate your uh, water solution strength, you need to take the amount of lye, which we already determined in step one and two, divide that by your desired solution strength. That's what you're going to pick here. Basically, you're going to say, I want a 33% solution strength, and then you're going to go with it. And then you're going to multiply that by 100% minus your solution strength. That's going to give you your water amount. So let's look at this in an actual formula. We're going to go back to that two pound batch of 100% avocado I used um, a while back. We're going to say we're going to use a 30% solution strength. So first, I'm going to calculate my lie. So 32 ounces of avocado, uh, the sap value is 0 0.1337. So I'm going to need, when I multiply the two, I'm going to need 4.28 ounces of lye. Now that I know my lie, I can, and I know I'm going to use a 30% solution strength, I can just plug those numbers into the formula I gave you. 4.28 ounces divided by 0.3. We'll do that. That's 14.26. Then we're going to take 100 minus 30, and that's 70%. Then we're going to take 14.26, multiply that by 70%, and we are going to get 9.98 ounces. That is the water for our recipe. So we would need 4.28 ounces of lye and 9.98 ounces of water for this recipe. So here's a little practice problem. Let's make a soap of 32 ounces, 100% olive oil. We're going to use a 35% solution strength and olive oil sap value is 0.1353. Pause the video and go ahead and do the math. I want you to determine the amount of lye we need and the water amount using a 35% solution strength. So go ahead, pause, work it out, and once you have the answer, hit play and see if you did the math right. So, we're going to take 32 ounces, multiply that by 0.1353, the sap value for olive oil, and that's going to give us 4.33 ounces of lye. We did not do a lye discount here, so you don't have to worry about that, but if we were going to do a lye discount, you would do that step next before you calculated the water. Now we're going to determine our water. So we need 4.33 ounces of lye. We're going to divide that by 0.35 or 35 percent and that's going to give us 12.37. Then we're going to take 100 minus 35 that's going to give us 65 percent. So we're going to take 12.37 multiply that by 65 percent and we need 8.04 ounces of water. Did everyone get that? If you didn't you're not sure why or where you went wrong comment below with what you did and I will help you figure it out. So let's move on to option two. So again, step one, we've already done. That's determining your lie. Step two and three are how you will figure out your water. So step two, you're going to take the amount of lie, divide that by the solution strength, and that's going to give you the total weight of your lie water solution. So that's the lie and the water together. We obviously, we need to separate the lie out. So then you just take the total weight of the lye water solution, subtract the lye, and that will give you your new water amount. Again, it's two steps as opposed to one step from the previous way, but this, a lot of times this way makes more sense to people, and so I'm giving you both. Do whichever is easiest. Whichever makes the most sense, use that, use those formulas. Okay, let's go back to that 100% olive uh, avocado oil soap with a lye solution of 30%. So that's the same practice problem we just did earlier with the other uh, formula. Sat value is, are the amount of lye that we need is 4.28 ounces. So we're going to take 4.28 ounces and divide that by 30% and that's going to give us 14.26 ounces. That is the total amount of lye and water in our recipe. Then we're going to take 14.26, subtract 4.28, and the new amount of water we need is 9.98 ounces. That matches what we did previously. So, hey, both work. So that's good. When the math works, we're always happy. <laughs> um, 
we're going to use the previous uh, multiple oil recipe that I used um, for an example in determining your uh, lye. So that was two videos ago. We had 12 ounces of olive oil, six of coconut, six of palm, and two of shea. We had determined that we needed 3.88 ounces of lye. So how much water would this recipe need if we wanted to use a 30% concentration? So step one, 3.8 ounces of lye. Divide that by 30%, so that's 12.93 ounces. That's our total weight of the lye in the water. We're going to subtract that from 3.88 ounces, which is our amount of lye, and the amount of water we need is 9.05 ounces. So hopefully this all makes sense. Again, if you're getting stuck somewhere, you're not getting these answers, you don't understand, just comment below and I will help you figure out what's going on and get you on the right track. That's calculating your water. It's a little bit more complicated. You really do need to kind of understand solution strength. Um, it's, once you get a grasp on it, it, it becomes much easier, but don't fret if you don't understand it. Um, it just takes a little bit of time and practice. Go back to that test tube um, image because I think that really helps you visualize exactly what we mean when we say 25% or 30% or 33 or 35, right? So stay tuned to uh, next Saturday will be our last video and that one is going to go over percentages, which you need. It's very important that you understand percentages. Once you understand that and you understand the three, these three videos, you can formulate and calculate your own recipe uh, from scratch. No lie calculator needed. So stay tuned. Um, once again, if you wanted the handouts, I do have these on my webpage. It is a comprehensive 18 page handout with everything I've talked about here spelled out with examples and an end practice problem for you to do. So stay tuned until next Saturday and where we will conclude this little math lesson with calculating percentages.